Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 3. We are going to do this final push to level 70, uh, probably with rifts because rifts is the most sensible way of doing that last little bit. Let's just get into the game and see where we are and then we can re-gear with uh, brand new spanking equipment and uh, see if we can't start on the greater rifts, getting some legendary gems and gearing ourselves up for the higher difficulty levels. Pop those on. I love how you get a tiny, tiny, tiny shield around you. Um, I don't because of magic weapon deflection. It's just such a lo lovely little effect. Um, anyway, I digress. We're supposed to be leveling, so let's jump in to a rift. As we're going through this, there's always a small chance we're going to find better equipment, so I'm going to keep my eyes peeled in case there's anything we can use just to help speed well things along rewarded. a bit. That's assuming we find any more to support, actually. There's quite a few in here. Frozen. Just about made that out of that. Yeah, always with the area denial. Hate monger, the unspeakable terror, the unspeakable annoyance. More like, let's teleport out of that because this one's about to pop. And we don't want to be trapped in a wall of frozen area when that happens. Got molten shielding minions. And they go down fast enough. But talk about annoying. Okay, let's grab these. Bits and bobs as we go and Moving into the next area. It's not too bad, all in all. And mostly I'm watching my experience progress rather than uh, this. I mean, we're up to like 8% on the rift. And we will get a lot of experience for completing the rift. So one will maybe enough to if we're lucky. And if not, it won't take much into the next. You can have a wonderful Hydra to keep your company over there. Oh, all about the lightning this place. And that's actually kind of hurting. Let's Back off the team a bit, and we frozen as well. Of course. We would have vortex frozen for that. Well, that's why we couldn't get away. And they didn't stand up for particularly long. It's like spiders. It's like being slowed down when I'm trying to run around the place. Throwing the web everywhere. Yeah, living lightning is. is Pretty good in the north. And uh, if we get depth figures, uh, I believe it's depth figures that uh, increase the effectiveness of primary skills. Then it'll be uh, it'll be even better, of course. Uh, sorry, concentrating on uh, combat at the same time as talking. It is uh, very early in the morning. It's, uh, 10.33 on Saturday, and uh, I still have not had any caffeine, so I'm a little bit scatterbrained at the moment. Not enough that we're in danger of dying, though, so don't worry about that. Let's uh, hurry on into the next area. Probably shouldn't have used my teleport to do that, but pretty certain it'll recharge before we run into any difficulties. I mean, soldier's anchor. Why not? Sailor's Anchor would probably be better, or at least more appropriately named. Not stand immediately on the desecrator bit. Living Light is just going to fall from that corner bit. Grounded, you might say. An incredible feat. This is what I like. Lots of easy to kill things. 
and actually watch the experience bar progress when it uh, when it happens like that. Creeping up, creeping up. Now we could of course uh, up the difficulty level and get more experience than the mods, but that will just slow down our kill speed and probably not worth it at the moment. Maybe once we've got better equipment at level 70, um, we can up it one more level, see how we go. But for the moment, sticking on Master is probably our best bet. At the moment, cats have got 40 and then half a million health. That's a hell of a lot. Get that arcane dust. Get right in the middle of you. Get scared, exploding, and popping all of these guys. I'm so good, I astound myself. Mm, yeah, let's back off just a tiny bit. Teleport to desecrated Jane and Mortal. Well, all your friends are dead. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to die horribly. That's what you're going to do. <clears throat> Another death track. Always welcome those things. When we cross the course of the season, we're going to need a hell of a lot of them. And because the build is generally survival, we could push for the Sage set and just do some death breath farming this early on um, while we build up Delcy's equipment. Anything down here? No. Still waiting. And then, as we uh, get better and better kit, we'll maybe switch between uh, two different uh, sets to run uh, the uh, Delta. We're going for like super serious business uh, progression and um, actual just death breath farming set. Certainly, with my other character, we're not going to want to be switching things up because. Um, being in Archon form all the time is going to rely on us having um, Viz Amazing Arcana on. So you can't really tag bits of that out and uh, do farming, whereas this this seems to be pretty effective even without being ultra buffed. Or at least it's, it's consistently effective. Yeah, like maybe it's 80% um, power, but it's 80% power constantly, whereas the other one um, would just massively drop down in effectiveness, like from perhaps 200% with the set to 20% without it, just because of the amount of downtime that you end up with on Archon form. And we need to be uh, we need to be building up character up so that we're uh, double dip up and uh, building up stacks ready for the next one before the old set of stacks have run out. Me. Other things that we'll need to do this season is to try and find out where those uh, damn wings are. Oh no, the, uh, the wings are a season journey reward, aren't they? I believe that's what it said. We'll check in just a second just to make sure. Have a quick look. Yeah, wings, item portrait, and frame. They look so cool. Definitely want those. Let's pop them a bit while we get the shield pile on and then get bang in the middle of everything. We are over halfway through the level. I, I know we started with some experience, but it's not particularly slow progress, and that's a very good one for us. The fleeting shrine as well, why not? We'll just gather all the shrines that we can.
And then once we're level 70, we can look into re-rolling our equipment. Uh, because we've got a Starfire, we can uh, keep re-rolling that until we get a decent level 70 mod. Well, it's going to be a bit of a test to find out if it does re-roll at the level that your character is, or if it sticks to its old level. If it sticks to its old level, we'll put it in the cube. If it re-rolls nicely, then, well, we'll just keep re-rolling it until we get a good one. Don't want to be directly in the middle of that one, that's all happening. Wormhole and Vortex is not fun. Let's see if we can't thin some of these out a bit. Okay, just down to Denar's Dark Shade. Sorry, Denar's Dark Shade. I care that little about its actual name. Stompers, cool. Go so popping there for an incredibly large amount of damage. Definitely a fun one if you're going to be up close with stuff. Because it's, it's not a small amount of damage that, uh, that goes in front of us like that. Pox Folds, Pox Folds I could give it a take. Um, but along with uh, things like Nagel Ring and stuff, anything that explodes with a massive area of effect. And a ton of damage is always good. Although Nagel Ring is pretty awesome just because the, uh, the little goblins that it summons to run away from you, so you don't have to be right in the middle of everything in order to get the effectiveness of it. And that does 10,000 percent damage. And there's a. Uh, miniature nukes going off. Make sure that these are being more pressed properly. Orbiter teleporter illusion is electrified. Well, have a storm, have another hydra, and we'll get you killed. Don't worry about it, mate. Put you out of your misery, back in the ground. How are we doing? We're up to 85%, so it's not going too badly. And we've only got uh, five, 17 million left experience, I think that was. And it's definitely uh, progressing at a decent rate. Another pack, good. Everyone getting close, and yeah. Oh, god damn, not back. Not back, mortar fast, frozen pulse. Let's see how many of these we can kill. And scourge explosion, awesome amount of damage. And you might need to back up just a little bit. Put that down though. Death red, yes please. Let me grab that. And it's nearly Rift Guardian time. We might be able to do it without needing to move on to the next level. Well, especially with a pack like this. I need arcane power. Oh, fire chain though. Fire chains and frozen. Oh. Guys, stop being annoying. Just like two of you die. There we go. Ooh, unique ring. Yes, please. The Rift Guardian is here! I'll have a look at that in just a moment. Okay, 131 million health. That's a long round where we can actually see ourselves properly. Mm, yeah, we might need to be a bit careful about this. Just because those, those rats do a ton of damage. Hopefully they'll vanish in a moment.
count as 64 million. Uh, let's get out of here just for a second. Don't like fighting Hamelin in these kind of massively enclosed areas. It's just not particularly healthy. And all we need is a couple of seconds away from our galvanizing war to come back. How does that feel? Nearly going down. There we go. All the loot. And let's have a look at that ring. Hey, it's an Oculus! Well, that's really good. Alright. That's going straight on you. Plus 11% live. Well, we'll probably re-roll that into strength for you, but... 72 is a pretty weak one. But I will take it for the moment. In fact, we might even cube that for ourselves. Let's head back and we'll hand in that rift. Ooh, ever so close. Alright. What did we get that's potentially worth using? There, alright. Increases electrocute damage as well. We're not using electrocute, but gives us more experience, so we'll take those. Mm, yeah, these need to be a lot better for us to switch off. More toughness is always good, um, but we're going to lose a fair bit of damage if we change over just because of all our lightning skills. Yeah. That, we lose 0.1% damage and we lose a lot of toughness, so it's not worth us changing over even though that... Yeah, let's just salvage everything up and we'll go back into another rift. Now that we're higher level, it's uh, unexpanded everything by default, which is probably going to be annoying, but uh, I guess we'll, we'll work with it. Right, let's go into the stash, drop these bits off, and back into a rift. This is it, everyone. This is going to be the final one. We're not even going to have to get all the way through it, so hopefully the Rift Guardian itself will end up dropping something nice for us. We can but hope, anyway. Oh, and already the Oculus is already... Creating those lovely little areas. Now I wonder if I need to stand in it in order to put the Hydra out and get the benefit, or if the Hydra needs to sit in it. It's something that I'd like to uh, do some like testing of, um, but doing it in a control pack, I think I'll probably need zombies really. I need zombies, I need to get rid of my controller. Mm, so, yeah, I need to wear the ring myself get rid of the follower so that he's not killing stuff. Kill one zombie, stand in the uh, area, drop it off. I need to turn off my armor as well so it's not confusing things. Feels like a lot of effort. If anyone else has done any uh, any testing or experimenting, please let me know the results. If not, I'll uh, probably get annoyed enough that I actually try and figure it out. Certainly if I'm standing in it and I cast the Hydra in it as well, it'll, it'll definitely work. Now I'm wondering, if I get something like the Fault of Vaxxer, do they use specific set of skills, or do they use the skills you've got made? I think it's specific skills they work with. But it'd be nice if they uh, if they take on the ones that you're using, because, hell, getting lightning hydro all over the place would be loads of fun. I'm also kind of curious as to what happens if more than one wizard does a lightning storm at the same time. Because I know you can't put more than one in an area. Because it just like creates an area of effect of where it's, this is the lightning storm area and that's what's happening. Oh, so close. So close. Like, 
Four million. Four million experience left. This might be enough. Let's stand here. We'll cast everything at the same time. And then back off just a bit. I do love the Oculus. It's, it's such a huge damage boost just for playing a little bit tactically. And some character classes it really doesn't work well with. Um, Barbarians, it's hit and miss as to whether the, uh, the ring is going to appear somewhere useful or not. But for this, I can stand in it and then I can drop that thunderstorm and it's huge the amount of damage it ends up doing. There we go! Level 70, we have made it. Knees and toes all the way and an extra passive slot, which we're going to put paralysis in almost certainly. Okay, let's let's do that now before I forget about it. Although Audacity would be very fun. Oh, go away, everyone! Right, paralysis. And we'll keep that on for a while until. Yeah, look at that stun. I think we're going to end up going for uh, a Hellfire Amulet for this character, so we can still get Audacity or something else. Um, also, looking at it, eventually we might get rid of Galvanizing Ward. So, we could go with Audacity and go for super close combat. Um, but I think we're going to try and be as ranged as possible, so I don't know what the best other options would be. Maybe Prodigy. Hmm... And power hungry is always good. Prodigy or power hungry, astral presence probably won't be needed. And dominance is nice, but uh, dominance works until it doesn't work, and then when it doesn't work, it really doesn't work. Whereas I prefer, rather than like Wing in your power and survivability, I rather just actually be consistent. Didn't see that then you can coming, anticipate you? how everything's going to be going. Now we could head back to town and uh, re-gear ourselves right now, but I think I'm going to finish the rift first and then uh, we'll see what drops we get and then take it from there. Completely wrong place for that uh, Oculus ring to spawn. Shielding. That's no fun. Yeah, let's just not stand immediately on the lightning. He says, then running onto the lightning because I'm such a sensible wizard. Oh. See, this is why I love shielding for myself, because it's got to be as annoying for the bad guys as it is for me when all of a sudden you can't hurt them. Let's get that. Ah. Just a shield wall. Die, you bastards. There we go. Let's make some progress now. Blockading the corridor. That's no fun. I'm going to take too long to start getting our Paragon levels up as well, which is always good. Work on our movement speed. It's always the hardest thing starting a new season, and you are so slow. I'm so good, I astound myself. The Rift's not got particularly good uh, monster density. I mean, there's, there's always a couple of monsters around, but there's these huge empty spaces without anything. Let's see if we can find the next level and hurry on. Let's 
Yeah, it's still doing its job. See the uh, enemy's health spiking down periodically. I didn't think I could get any better. Dragon level one. And we've unlocked the most boring Paragon portrait of them all. Generally, I prefer the, uh, the season-based ones. The Paragon ones are nice, but uh, season ones are a little bit special. Right. Yeah, one thing that uh, that I found out there just the other day, I don't know if this has been like common knowledge for a while, um, but that they're going to be releasing another expansion. Uh, I don't know whether it's like going to be a form uh, content expansion or what, um, but they are having another playable class. They're introducing the Necromancer, which is going to be a reimagining of uh, the Necromancer from Diablo 2. Very fun class. Nothing quite like having a horde of skeletons around you doing your bidding. And I hope that there's skeleton mages and skeletal articles and, and all the old fun ones. I know that some skills are going to be changing, uh, but there's uh, some that are just going to be reworked slightly. It, uh, I think it's due to come out at some point in 2017, so it may end up being Season 10. Uh, I know we're Season 8 at the moment, but I'm assuming it won't be done in time for Season 9. So Season 10 could end up uh, running a brand spanking new Necromancer and taking Hordes of the Undead forwards. Oh, Zombie Gargantium, so much fun. Different from the Witch Doctor, of course. Um, Witch Doctor's drawing mostly upon tribal magic, from, uh, well, from the vague interpretation that I have of them. Uh, whereas Necromancer's drawing purely on uh, the power of the dead. I think it was uh, Rathma that, uh, that they referred to it as. Where the hell are we going? Oh, that is actually the way down. Completely ignored it while monologuing. So yeah, quite looking forward to that, and I'm looking forward to seeing what content ends up coming along with it, because it's very easy to um, release an expansion, charge a decent amount for it, and then have people feel a little bit left in the cold, so I'm hoping that there's going to be uh, at least some new storyline areas, and maybe um, some, yeah, not a full-on um, Reaper of Souls expansion, I'm not expecting that, um, but if it is, then that would be absolutely amazing. Oh god. Uh, coming, nope. Nope. Sometimes you just have to say nope and put up a wall and defend yourself. Okay, teleport's nearly back on cooldown, so. You can work on thinning them out a bit. Stand in the ring, everything does more damage. Even Scourge does more damage than standing in the ring. Stop running away, stop, stop teleporting. Oh my god, just die already, thank you. I like this area a lot more than the last one, but uh, that was uh, a bit of a struggle fight. We are under geared, of course, um, given it's level 70 now and we're using equipment that is not level 70 by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, we could be doing this a lot faster, but we're going to get through this, and we're going to re-gear back in town, and uh, then everything should get easier from there on out. Also, we can start gambling with the Gala for all of our fun, fun shards that we've built up, I think we're up to like 400 now. Yeah, close enough. So we might be able to get some of our equipment straight away from that. I don't know if I'm going to carry on doing my standard uh, gamble for rooms until you get all the rooms that you want thing. It is a pretty safe uh, safe way of working, I find. Ooh, if someone's frozen, let's crack out for that. Ooh, that 
be you. Teleport and knockback all the frozen. Oh god, stop it with the the cold. Finally. Let's have a quick look. Have we picked up any weapons that are worth changing over to? Doesn't look like it. That's probably going to be worth giving to our Templar. At least we can re-roll that. Or upgrade it into the um, the unique that stops him from dying. In the meantime, we'll be doing a fair bit more damage. Oh look, he hits for 17k now. That's sweet. It's kind of adorable. So, oh. Two. My armor hits for 450 and he's just like kicking me. I think most probably we'll, uh, we'll try and gear him up to be a uh, cold based block machine. Give him a justice lantern, decent shield, that kind of stuff. Hey! Doesn't take long after combat for that galvanizing ward to come back. Such a huge fan of it as a skill. Not so much that it's a crutch though, I mean, we could be playing without it, it's just I'd need to do a lot more tactical running around than running away. Mm. Let's get out of that. Wall of Jail or Horde Electrified, oh, that's uh, not a problem at all, we can totally just deal with that. And then loot the room! Well, they, they proper popped when they went. Let's get these, get these, and this. 80%. These are the, uh, the fast charging ones, I think, yeah. And Invisible Snakes, because everyone loves Invisible Snakes. Unlike, no one loves Invisible Snakes. Ooh, cool, these guys are going to drive pretty quickly through the thunderstorm. Let's back Health off, returns. get some health, refresh these, and we'll put down a wall of death just to protect ourselves. Those uh, creatures do hit quite hard, and getting stunned in the middle of that is not something we want to be doing. We've still not triggered any of our deaths. Uh, well, we've only got one death this season. Um, So I'm not massively scared, but it's better to err on the side of caution than end up in a situation where you're waiting for your cheap death in order to, uh, to recharge. These guys are going to pull you around as well. Because that's always fun. Oh, and they're molten. All right, fighting them cautiously. One that does that, not a problem. Three that do that, you kill one of them. The other two end up pulling you in as you're trying to get away, and you can very quickly burn through a teleport and a cheat death at the same time, leaving you in a very sticky situation. Ooh, so close to being Rifkardian Hunt. Are you going to be enough? For it? No. Maybe these guys will be. The 
Rift Guardian has arrived. like a hammer. Karendi the cat. Thankfully, we are getting the occasional paralysis on there. I don't think we're going to be in any, uh, any danger of dying or anything like that. It's just going to take us a while to actually do enough damage. I mean, 147 million health. That is quite a lot. Let's, uh, let's grab this while we're getting back towards it. Yeah, focus on the tempo a little bit while I uh, focus on bringing your health down. Race with Keystone, the first one of the season. No uniques or, or anything, which is a little bit of a shame. I need but to go back. pretty happy with how that's gone. Add that in, and Paragon level 5. Okay, right, let's assign these Paragon points. So we're starting off with movement speed, as always. We're going to go for... Cooldown reduction, I think. We don't really care about cooldown that much. Teleport, I suppose, it would be useful for anyway. So, yeah, we'll do cooldown reduction. The plan is to max all these out anyway. Uh, all resist all. And... Probably... Resource cost reduction. Just to start off. Now, what have we got in the way of equipment? Mm, pretty much a no. change over to those we don't need the massive plus to experience that we've got at the moment so that's fine and we'll keep the rest of these right let's salvage up and have a look at new things that we can make in fact let's drop these bits off first and we'll go and talk to Kadala that's uh, that's going to be a good plan Now, in order to re-roll an item, let's just double-check what we need first. Tract Legendary Power, Reforge Legendary. We need 50 Forgotten Souls. Jeez, that's going to be a while before we can do that. So we're going to be holding on to Starfire for quite a quite a bit of time before we can actually uh, try and re-roll it. Probably the same with, uh, with Thunder God's Figure. Although... Not sure if we're going to end up using Thunder God's figure in the end. It's quite nice for, for getting us here, but uh, probably not for long term. Okay, so I think we're going to go for some rings. Kadala, what have you got for us? What? I didn't even know I had that thing. What a oh, what was I saying about Nagel Ring earlier? And that's that's a pretty good one, actually. I'm very, very happy with that. Definitely wear that. We'll just check these to see if any of them are better. Mm. We'll lose a little bit of toughness on that, but toughness isn't really an issue. I think we'll go for this one. Bit of extra damage, always good. Let's uh, let's see if we can make ourselves a new weapon. We want it to ideally be one-handed. So mace, source, spear. Why not? All the wand. I haven't actually found that many uh, unique things. Which is a little bit of a shame, but uh, I guess we'll we'll just work with what we can. I think 
If we go for Sovereign Punial and probably the uh, the offhand source, that would be the best thing we can do for now. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to do much by itself, but... Mm, well, that still does a little bit more damage, although we can socket this up, which we're going to do. Uh, level requirement reduced by 29. We can get a better one than that. Useless affixes like that, we don't particularly want. Mm, I do want the plus to experience though, so let, let's just keep making a couple of these until we find one that we like. Plus to experience, chance to blind on hit. That's pretty good, all in all. It does a little bit less damage than the current one, but we could re-roll something into a socket. But I think that's for the uh, for the recovery. That's going to be pretty awesome for us. And let's uh, let's make a couple more of these just in case. Mm, it is shock pulse. We do a bit more damage. Lots lots more life. Life isn't an issue for us at the moment though. That being said, we don't want to drop down massively on the toughness side. It is a little bit more damage, a lot more experience, which will help us leveling. So I, I think we will do that, actually, for the moment. Tough call. Let's make another just in case. Mm, no, that one's not what we want. That, on the other hand... We lose on the uh, the plus to experience, but everything gets a bit better. I'm not using rare frost, but we can re-roll. Uh, we need to re-roll uh, one of the affixes anyway for part of our season journey. So let's see if we can give this plus to experience. What's going to give us plus to experience? This one will do. Maximum arcane power. We don't really care about because we're barely using arcane power. 103 experience we can probably make that a little bit better. Hundred and ten, what's it go up to? Hundred and thirty-nine, we can definitely make it a little bit better. Chance to freeze on hit would be fun, but it's too late for us to change now. Oh come on, give us a good one. I don't want to spend all... Yeah, that'll do. 124. So. 485 bonus experience. No percentage bonus experience. But these should scale quite nicely as we move up. Right. Now, can you use daggers? You can. So that'll be a little bit better. We'll put a gem in that. Are any of these better for you? That's better. This will help. We will properly craft them up some uh, some equipment at some point with one of my alt characters, but for now this will this will do. Salvage, salvage. Let's make him a shield. Just and we probably won't do anything with the uh, the amulet until we're actually looking to give him something good. Right, as for us, let's have a look at what different sets we've got. So we could do all guild set. It's not a particularly awesome one, but it does give us some damage reduction. I think that's probably the only set that we've got at this stage. Skelon's Deceit might be alright, although we're wearing a level 70 trousers at the moment. Yeah, I, I think we'll probably just hold off. Hold off. Save our stats. Look at, look at these miniature nukes. Fallen lunatics are amazing. They do 10,000% weapon damage. Um, is this actually better than our... No, it's not better than our other one. I suppose we could give it to our Templar just in case. If we get one ourselves, we'll put it in the cube and we'll get the benefit of it that way. Okay, right, I think that's probably a good point for us to wrap up this episode. Uh, we've made it to level 70, pretty happy with that. 
Uh, we've got one thing left on the uh, oh, craft a level 70 item of the jeweler. Let's just do that and get it ticked off. Uh, forge, why not? We'll make him an amulet. I should really do this with one of my alts, but... There we go, Season Journey Chapter 2 complete. And we've got some gifts from Hadrig. Let's put that up there, and that's you done now for for now as a Templar. Uh, we'll just salvage up that. So we've made it to level 70. We've completed uh, the Chapter 2 objectives. Let's have a look at Chapter 3. Transmog Fireman, Item of the Mystic. Learn 5 Jewel Crafting Recipes. That's going to require us to grind and find a few. Kill Urziel, kill the Skeleton King. And that's it. So really, that is the one that's going to be the most difficult. And that's just going to require us to play a bit more. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you are enjoying this. Uh, I'm going to be carrying on and, of course, looking for um, Delsir's Magnum Opus as we carry on. And uh, hopefully this build is going to be viable and we're going to be ramping up the Torment difficulties and uh, seeing how far we can get. So join me again in the future for more Diablo 3. I'll see you soon.